In this video, we introduce our study of using first principles computation to evaluate the electrochemical stability of lithium solid electron materials and how to design stable interfaces for solid state lithium battery. Solid state battery is a promising next generation battery technology to provide improved safety and high energy density over commercial lithium batteries. The key challenges in solid state battery is the solid solid interfaces. There are significant amount of interfaces as shown in this schematic of solid state battery. The interface compatibility and stability is crucial in affecting the battery performance, such as the charging discharging rate, columbic efficiency, and cycle life. The formation of solid electrolyte interface ACI layer in solid state battery is also a critical question. To understand these interfaces, thermodynamics can be used to evaluate the reactions such as interface degradation and the formation of an interface layer. Three mechanisms can affect the interface stability. The reduction and oxidation of the solid electrolyte materials at the applied voltage, chemical reaction between solid electrolyte and electrodes, electrochemical reaction under cycling voltage between solid electrolyte and electrodes. By analyzing this reaction thermodynamics, we can reveal the mechanisms and limiting factors for interface stability for solid state battery and provide general design principles for stable interfaces. Electrochemical stability of solid electrolyte is determined by the reduction and oxidation reactions of solid electron materials at applied voltage. As shown in this schematic of a cell, Anode is a lithium source with high lithium chemical potential and a low potential. Anode leases the solid electrolyte causing reduction reaction. Cathode is a lithium sink with low lithium chemical potential and high potential. Cathode deletes the solid electrolyte with oxidation reaction. These reactions can be evaluated by the thermodynamic equilibria with a lithium reservoir and a different potential using a technique called grand potential phase diagram. For LGPS, grand potential phase diagram shows this phase equilibrium, which have the lowest Gibbs free energy at these potentials. The corresponding reaction at these potentials are thermodynamically favorable. LGPS shows favorable reduction starting around 1.7 volt due to phosphate reduction and lithium germanium alloying reactions at around 0.5 volt. The oxidation of LGPS becomes thermodynamically favorable at 2.4 volt due to the oxidation of sulfur. Therefore, the thermodynamic intrinsic stability of LGPS is around 1.7 to 2.4 volt. In early literature, 0 to 5 volt wide window is often reported for lithium solid electron materials. However, this wide window is not effect. The cyclic voltmetry is often performed using semi-blocking electrodes. But this cell setup limits the solid reactions at the interface due to slow kinetics and a small reaction amount. As a result, the redox current is very small in the CV to be observed. To correctly measure the electrochemical stability of the solid electrolyte, Professor Chen Shen Wang proposed to use the composite electrode mixture with carbon. This setup can significantly magnify the interfacial reactions by improving reaction kinetics. This setup also mimics the real solid state battery cell configuration, which is also a composite of electrode, solid electrolyte, and carbon. Using this cell setup, experiments show the oxidation of LGPS above 2 volt and reduction below 1.7 volt and more than 1 volt and 0.5 volt. These reaction and oxidation potentials are in good agreement with thermodynamic calculations. More importantly, the reactions of solid electrolytes lead to the formation of interface layer at the interface, which greatly affect the solid state battery performance. For the interface between LGPS and lithium metal, the thermodynamic phase equilibria gives lithium sulfide, lithium phosphide, and lithium germanium alloy as the lowest energy phases and the lithiation of LGPS is a highly favorable reaction. These reactions are confirmed by in-situ XPS characterizations by Professor Yannick's group. They see the formation of reduced germanium, lithium phosphide, and lithium sulfide, formation at the interface due to lithiation. Correspondingly, the interfacial resistance grows significantly as a result of formation of interface layers. 
We use the same computation methods to evaluate the thermodynamic intrinsic stability window of many lithium solid electrolytes. Sulfide solid electrolytes all have a similarly narrow electrochemical window, limited by the reduction of phosphorus, cation, and oxidation of sulfur. Lithium binary compounds such as lithium fluoride, lithium oxide, and lithium nitride are all stable with lithium metal. Oxides has much wider electrochemical window, especially at high voltages. The reduction limit controlled by the cation reduction, such as titanium in LATO and LATP, leading to high reduction limit. LAZO garnet has good stability with lithium metal. Lipon is a well-known solid electrolyte that works very well with lithium metal anode in thin film solid state battery, while thermodynamics shows unstable with lithium metal. Thermodynamics show the lipon's phase equilibrium with lithium metal is lithium nitride, lithium oxide, and lithium phosphide. In situ XPS characterization also observe the formation of these phases at the lithium lipon interface. So why lipon works so well with lithium metal anode? This is because these reaction products are lithium ion conducting but electron insulating form as a solid electrolyte interface between lithium metal and lipon, then passivate the a solid electrolyte, prevent further reactions. The formation of SEI layer between lithium metal and solid electrolyte is a key in enabling the stable interface in solid state battery. Similar to the SEI formation on graphite anode in lithium ion battery using liquid electrolyte. Our understanding about lithium solid electrolyte interface can be summarized into three types. Lithium lipon interface form a stable passivating SEI layer at the interface. The interface layer with good lithium ion conducting and electronic insulating is critical. For the interface of lithium metal with LGPS and other materials, the reaction forms a mixed ion and electron conducting interface layer. Such interface layer would not be able to passivate the interface and the reactions continue over time leading to the degradation of solid state battery. Type 1 interface has thermodynamic intrinsic stability between lithium metal and a solid electrolyte, but not many materials have such stability. The classification of interfaces here provides guiding principles for lithium solid electrolyte interfaces. Using computation method illustrated here, we can quickly evaluate thermodynamic stability window of a wide range of materials. This helps us to identify the trends of stability in different materials with different cations and ions. Some materials that are thermodynamically intrinsically stable with lithium metal are identified and are discussed in other papers. I hope you like this video. You can read more about the details of computation and experiments in our papers or find our review in our review paper in June. Thank you.